Betty, uh, we, we've we've never had a bad bowl experience, and uh, this one surpassed everyone we've had. Everybody here was just just uh, absolutely unbelievably hospitable. Uh, we're very very appreciative of that. Uh, to win this game uh, meant an awful lot to our football team, especially against uh, a team uh, the caliber of Wake Forest. Uh, you know they earned the right to be the ACC champions, and uh, they're an outstanding football team. Uh, it was a very hard fought game. Uh, both teams really competed hard and. Uh, you know, that being said, I just can't say enough about uh, the job our, our coaching staff did, uh, getting the players ready, and uh, most importantly, the job our players did. Uh, you know, it still comes down to what they do on the field, and um, but both sides of the football and our special teams, everybody really just played a great football game tonight, so I'm, I'm just uh, really proud of everybody involved, especially our players, and uh, you know, I can't say enough about our seniors, what they've meant to our program, uh, how they finished up these past two years of leadership they've provided, and uh, it's going to be a big void for us, but uh, we're going to enjoy it tonight. Uh, just want to, again, thank them and compliment them on a, a great uh, great job they've done throughout their careers. Okay, we'll go ahead and open it up for uh, questions for the coach or either of the players. Coach, there was some talk about uh, it's been 51 years since Iowa had won a, a major bowl, the Rose Bowl, in, in 59. How does it feel to, to win a BCS-level bowl? Uh, fantastic, and I, I, you know, I got to tell you, I haven't really focused too much on that. Uh, when we won in uh, San Antonio back in 2001, that was a pretty good feeling. Uh, but tonight, you know, it's just uh, outstanding. And we knew it was going to be tough, and it was. Uh, you know, and that's just how good football games are when you play a good opponent like we did. But uh, uh, to come down here, the, the job our players did the entire time they were here, they really prepared well, kept their focus, yet they really enjoyed the town. Uh, but clearly tonight it showed that they did a great job during the course of the last eight, nine days. And um, it's just a, a great, great feeling. But um, I'm just really pleased for our players, most of all. Now we're going to go right down over here. For those of you who weren't in the room when we made the announcement, uh, Claiborne was the Orange Bowl MVP. Kirk, if you and both, either one of the players could answer this question. I know you joked a little bit about it being a tiebreaker and, and the Big Ten coming out with a winning record, but really how seriously do you take representing the conference? And the Big Ten's four, four wins against ranked teams, two BCS Bowl wins now. What, what does that do for the Big Ten? Yeah, we, we've beaten a couple conference champions as well. And, uh, you know, it... it uh, uh, it's a good feeling. I, you know, I think each and every one of us, uh, every member institution takes a lot of pride every time we go out and take the field against a non, non-league opponent. And, uh, you know, that, that's uh, certainly part of the territory. But, but all that being said, you know, uh, my number one concern is our football team and our players. Uh, but it's, it's uh, you know, it's gratifying. And just on, on the side, again, I, I think, uh, you know, it's way too easy just to, to generalize, you know, boy, this conference is down, that conference is down. And, uh, you know, maybe this will put some of those series to rest for at least uh, six more months, four more months, I don't know. But uh, it, it's a good feeling. We, we take pride every time we take the field if we do well. Uh, it's great for our conference, and, uh, you know, we're very, very proud of our team. Right, we'll go standing up all the way to the right. Now for Adrian, nobody has really stifled this Georgia Tech offense the way that you guys did tonight. How, why, uh, what caused all this? Um, I would... I would just say Norm Parker, he put together a great a great uh, plan for us, and we executed it. That's pretty much the reason why we stopped it. I mean, um, without Coach Parker, we wouldn't have been in the uh, work, do, work out blocks and get off and make tackles. Right in the middle. And then following on that, that was the biggest question, I think, coming in, was how were you going to handle the, the offense? For especially three quarters, you guys locked down the offense. Did you have a confidence, Kirk, knowing that, your defense could do that, or were you surprised by how well they were playing at it? Uh, you know, we, we've played good defense all season long. This was a different challenge, and uh, I think I walked in Norm's office probably been three and a half weeks now, maybe four, I don't know, somewhere in that ballpark. And, uh, <coughs> you know, it's, it's, uh, it struck me. I walked out, and he was talking about the option, how they used to play it all the time in spring practice, preseason camp, and all season long. 60s and 70s, and, uh, you know, a couple of years ago, everybody thought Norm was too old. Now, I guess uh, uh, maybe it's good we had that wisdom, but uh, it seems like no matter who we play, he gets our defense ready. Our defensive staff does a great job preparing our guys, and most importantly, our players do a fantastic job. And uh, the fact that uh, Adrian won the MVP in a BCS bowl, it doesn't happen too often where a defensive lineman dominates the way he did. And, uh, but our whole whole group up front did a great job. Everybody played played great football, and that's what it takes against a team like uh, Georgia Tech. They put put pressure on all eleven guys.